Right now with conventions back in Vegas, a whole new way to get around the boring company's new loop under the convention center is shuttling passengers underground. But what happens if something goes wrong? Our I-team looked into that to get you some answers. David Charns live at one of the news stations. He joins us live with more. Brian, we're, one at, we're at one of three stations here outside the convention center. And right now, these Teslas are moving customers through this system. There are two tunnels underground here. They look like this. They're about this wide, so you can see how a car can move through. But we wanted to know what would happen if something goes wrong. They're mile-long tunnels 40 feet below the Las Vegas Convention Center, moving customers in electric vehicles under the 200-acre campus. But with new tech, comes new challenges. The only thing is we can't drive the engine right up to the call. Clark County Deputy call Fire Chief Warren Whitney, Whitney says his department worked hand in hand with the boring company, right. charting this new territory aimed at transporting 8,800 customers an hour. The safety plans for the new tunnels obtained by the I team outline procedures for an underground crash, fire, or other emergency. If something goes wrong, drivers are trained to continue on to the next station. If there's a blockage, they're trained to drive out in reverse. Firefighters can enter using carts, not trucks, to get to a scene. And if there's a fire, a powerful ventilation system can push the smoke out, giving firefighters a safe way in. Whatever heat and smoke and gases that are released will be pulled away and then we enter from the other side. We think this is just going to be an incredible amenity and offering to have a, for our customers to have a fun way to move around our campus. Lori Nelson Craft with the LVCVA says it's an exciting time for conventions and Las Vegas. She adds, while well, the LBCVA funded the project, it's boring company drivers who are doing the work below. It was really imperative to us that the boring company was equally as committed to the safety and um, we're very pleased with the outcome of the safety and operations. After dozens of drills and months of practice, the time to get moving is now. I'm very confident in the safety for not only the passengers, but the system itself. And there are plans to now extend these tunnels from here at the convention center all the way up and down the Las Vegas Strip. Brian Denise. Boy, David, that is some cool stuff. What about the safety of the cars themselves? Well, remember, we're talking Teslas, the boring company owned by Elon Musk. Tesla, of course, owned by Elon Musk. And in the documents that we found about safety and emergency procedures, it actually talks about the batteries in the Teslas and how they're mounted on the floor, how Tesla is one of the safest vehicles when it comes to crashes, and how the batteries are rarely involved in fires. Brian Denise. All good news right there. We're getting into Jetsons mode now. It's finally <laughs> yeah, starting to happen. It's already here.